Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of uh, videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, I'm struck, as I so often am, by unusual spellings, unusual uses of words, unusual phrases um, in the Bible. And one unusual uh, spelling when God, when God says that there's um, two nations in your womb, twins inside the womb, struggling, the mother was, didn't know what was going on. The phrase in Genesis 25, 23, where it says, when God says to her, two nations are in your womb. Nations, goyim, you know, Gimel, Vav, Yud, Mem, Goim, nations. That's not how it's spelt in the Torah. It's spelt Gimel, Yud, Yud, Mem. Not a Vav, Yud, Goim, it's... So what does this word actually mean? It means proud ones. Now, there are no typos in uh, the Torah, this is meant to teach us something. Now when we read the Torah, we read it as goyim, but that's not how it's spelled. So um, the nations, uh, Yaakov uh, and Esau, um, were constantly fighting, but relationships are reciprocal. For example, um, Yitzhak, Esau's father, loved him and was almost blind to the fact that uh, this, uh, this child of his, this son of his, his qualities uh, weren't always so great. But relationships are reciprocal. One person like you, likes you, you like him back. One person's kind to you, you, you're kind back. And the hint of this is that um, when you look at the descendants of Isaac and Jacob and the descendants of Esau, it is said that the Romans ultimately were descended from Esau. The Jews were descended from Yaakov. From, they are called Bnei Israel, the children of Israel, Jacob's Israel. Um, it was um, Harav Mordechai Gifter who explains this that this, uh, talking about the reciprocal nature, the uh, person shows affection to you, you show affection in kind. And this was reflected many generations later between a descendant of Esau, the Roman leader Antoninus, and a descendant of Isaac and Jacob, um, Yehuda Hanazi, Judah the prince, the man responsible for redacting uh, the Mishnah. Yehuda Hanazi and Antoninus had a very close uh, friendship. Um, and they showed each other respect, they showed each other uh, kindness, and it was genuine. And we are the beneficiaries of that kindness, the kindness that Antoninus showed to Yehuda Hanazi, and likewise, resulted in Antoninus giving... Yehuda Hanazi, a peaceful and tranquil life. A, um, he knew a life of peace. There was no conflict, there was no struggle, there was no hard times. He was protected by Antoninus. And it was in this peace, it was in this tranquility, that Yehuda Hanazi was able to redact and compile the Mishnah. And it's the Mishnah that has um, sustained the Jewish people through millennia, over 2,000 years. The sayings of the Mishnah go back very far. Uh, it was compiled and put together and redacted by Yehuda Hanazis, but the knowledge contained in the Mishnah goes back many centuries before. 
Relationships are reciprocal, usually. It's human nature. It's who we are. It's what we do. Um, if someone's nice to you, you're nice back. If someone's mean to you, you're mean back. It's the way we are. But we have a hint in that, that verse in Genesis about the two proud ones. Uh, it's a reference to um, the, these two proud people, Antoninus and uh, Yehuda Hanazi, and the reciprocal uh, relationship between them ultimately benefited the Jewish people for the next 2,000 years. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.